Hi, my name is Sabna Rosnick, and this is the channel on YouTube where I do what I call mini readings. Sometimes my work, sometimes that of others, and usually just one poem per video. That's why I call them mini readings. Here lately I've been doing um, a lot of other people's work because I wanted to get a big a library of poems from all over the world on the channel. I wanted diversity. And for that reason, I've never monetized the channel so that I could share other people's work. It's for your entertainment, your enjoyment, and your education. And if you find a poem on, there's almost 100 videos now. So if you scroll back through and you find a poem you particularly like. Now, I usually read the English translations because that's the language I'm most fluent in. But if you find a poem you particularly like, a simple Google search will usually bring up the poem in its original language for you to read if you're able to read that language. And I encourage you to do so if you can read that language. A poem is never the same in translation as it is in its original tone. Never the same. What I'm going to do today is a tribute to Avon Bowen. It was important to me to do this tribute I was saddened and shocked to hear of her death recently, almost as dismayed by it as I was the death of Seamus Heaney in 2013, because she has always been one of my favorite poets. Her words have strength in them. Beauty too, and music too, but there's a lot of strength in there. Strength unique to womankind. I know men are strong too, but it's a different kind of strong. So her poems have that unique strength of womankind. She's a very uh, feminine writer, but a very strong one. Um, and I was determined to do some kind of tribute for her. Uh, I haven't posted, I haven't uploaded much to this channel bec recently because, as you know, I, I don't upload on a schedule because I've got various things I have to consider, my health being one, and we're getting ready to move into month three of quarantine where I'm at, and the result of quarantine, everybody being in the house, and they're working from home, and schooling from home, and when they're not working and schooling, they're doing things that take up more bandwidth than usual, like gaming for, gaming and Netflix for longer hours than they would normally do which I totally understand because in times like this it's just as important to take care of your mental health as it is your physical. Sometimes gaming and Netflix can go a long way in that direction. It's like whatever makes you happy. At times like this, do it as long as it's not hurting other people, right? But a result of all this extra internet activity is that it has o overloaded our local systems and in some cases I have heard from colleagues that live in other countries that they are also experiencing internet difficulties and tech difficulties. Um, in our area, it's been so bad that some people are experiencing regular outages, like a rolling outage every, every day at around the same time. I haven't had anything quite that extreme, but even whenever technically I have it, Sometimes I might as well, it might as well be an outage because you can't actually upload anything. It takes pages, 20 minutes to load. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. So I have really had to cut back on my work because I just can't accomplish anything. Um, and that includes, I've had to postpone a couple issues of my easing and make the submission deadlines. At this point, they're fluid. You know, uh, the submission period is open until further notice, um, which will give people more opportunity to submit, but, you know, the things you have to do sometimes. So that has prevented me from making any new videos for this channel in, in recently, but I am determined, no matter how long I have to fight with the tech, to do this tribute for Avon Bowen. I decided on a poem by her, it's called and soul, S-O-U-L, in case you didn't hear that clearly. I know, my Appalachian accent, I speak more clearly than some people I know, but the accent is still, because I put effort into it, because I know people from all over the world are going to hear this, and Appalachian, the Appalachian dialect, as they call it, is actually pretty much a language in and of itself, so I try to make sure I 
make it as much like standard, what they call standard English as possible without completely <laughs> losing my roots. But I know sometimes that's hard for people to understand on these, these kind of platforms. Uh, and so the reason why I chose it is because it is in itself a poem that is a tribute in a time of death. And it is a beautiful. I thought it was very poignant, very appropriate for the occasion. And of course it's set in Dublin and it's, it's just beautiful. And I thought, well, what better thing to share at a time like this? So this is how it goes. And so by Avon Bowen. My mother died one summer the wettest in the records of the state, crops rotted in the west, checked tablecloths dissolved in back gardens, empty deck chairs collected rain. As I take my way to her through traffic, through lilacs dripping blackly behind houses and on curbsides, to pay her the last tribute of a daughter, I thought of something I remembered I heard once, that the body is, or is said to be, almost all water. And as I turned southward, that ours is a city of it, one in which every single day the elements begin a journey toward it, towards each other that will never, given our weather, fail. The ocean visible in the edges cut by it, cloud color reaching into air, the liffy storing one and summoning the other, salt greeting the lack of it at the north wall, and as if that wasn't enough, all of it ending up almost every evening inside our speech. Coast, canal, ocean, river, stream, and now, mother. And I drove on, and although the mind is unreliable in grief, at the next cloudburst it almost seemed they could be shades of each other, the way the body is of every one of them, and now they were on the move again, fog into mist, mist into sea spray, and both into the oily gaze that lay on, the oily glaze that lay on the railings of the house she was dying in as I went inside. Well, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> but given that this is like the 10th time I've tried to record this because tech issues, I'm just gonna roll with it and I hope you guys can forgive it. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to go back through the channel. I'm certain you will find something you enjoy there. And join me again next time I upload. Thank you.